Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. All right, they did it. You fell for it, didn't you? Yes, a BS question from a viewer. Um, I actually sounds misleading. That probably classifies that title as clickbait, and I bet you fell for it. But so, your first thought is, what does BS stand for? Down the back. What does that stand for? He's right. <laughs> Bamboo skewer. So, I know you thought it was something else, right? Anyway, I was talking to somebody the other day, or yesterday, a guy left me a comment asking me about using the BS joint on a rabbit joint. And in particular, if you've ever seen it where you have make a box, and the bottom, you cut rabbits on all four sides on the bottom of the sides, and you recess the bottom of the box up in two there so you don't see the bottom of the box. You don't see the edge grain of that box, of that bottom board. It's recessed up in there. And he was talking about wanting to put bamboo skewers in it. The problem was, he was thinking about, well, he didn't really want the bamboo skewers to show running them in through the side. He thought that, it, for some reason, he thought you should have to run it in through the side. But actually, when I looked at it, I thought, no, actually, this is perfect joint. This is an example of it, by the way, if you want to see. There's the bottom board. It's rabbited up into the two sideboards. This is a cutaway view. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so that the bottom is recessed up underneath there. I made this piece here to give you an example of that. This is the this would be the bottom board. And this would be the sideboard. You can see how it's rabbited in so that it's flush. So when you set the board, the box down, you don't see the bottom board at all. Anyway, it's classic idea of how do you do that. But the problem you run across is that you have forces in there that want to push that bottom out, like when you load it up with stuff. And so there's always that fear that it may pull apart. And one way to stop that is with the bamboo scare joint, the BS joint. So let me show you. Uh, instead of going through the side like he was thinking about, you actually can go through the bottom and it works perfectly for that. So let me show you an example. All you have to do is set your fence on your BS jig to the thickness of this material as if both of these pieces were the same thickness but it was this half inch thick and this bottom board was just butt joint then you would use the same joint but the fact that you rabbit it in it won't affect it you can still do that and you can get a perfect bs joint and get the strength from it without any problem and they won't be seen because you're going to put the bamboo skewer in through the bottom board not through the side so, what I'm saying is that instead of coming through here and going into that board like this, you're actually going to come in from the bottom board, and as long as you hit that bamboo skewer going into this piece, as it's coming up through the bottom, you want it to hit on this ledge. Don't hit it out here on the edge, on the inside corner of the joint, or you don't want it to be too deep, or you may blow through the side here, just like any other BS joint. But if you bring this bamboo skewer in here and come through the bottom, up through that board, like so, you can put a bamboo skewer in here very easily. So here's an example. Half inch, quarter inch. Right here. And if I take my fence on my jig, this is the bit, and I have this set to a half inch thick board. And if I put this up to my joint, like so, you can see, let me get this where I can hold it in place. Ah. It's supposed to be simple. So, and you can see this bamboo skewer is going into this side piece here now. So this would be called the top piece and this would be the side piece. Even though that's really the bottom. But anyway... You can see it's going directly into the side grain of this plywood. It's not going into this joint, but yet it still goes deep enough and it's not coming out the side of it. So it's actually real easy. And when you get done, the only place you'll see that pin is on the bottom of the box because that's where your pins are being drilled into it. So they're actually completely hidden if you put bamboo skewers in the bottom to hold this piece to this piece. It's quick and easy and, and would may give you a lot of strength. And now for that bottom to pull out would be very difficult to do with those bamboo skewers supporting it too.
So I hadn't thought about using this on a, on a rabbit -it type joint, but actually this works real well. You just have to make sure you go in through this part of it and not through this part. Although you could technically go either direction on this thing if you really wanted to. I would set it to a quarter inch setting to put it into here, or I would set it to a half inch setting to put the pins in through the, this, this board on a rabbit joint. So you can do it either way when you do a rabbit joint, which I thought was interesting. And quite honestly, just adds another piece to the puzzle of what you, all you can do with a bamboo jig. So if you're new to here, you only came here because you were curious about what a BS question was. Uh, hopefully you got enough interest to realize that the BS jig and using bamboo skewers for joinery is actually very, very useful in almost any scenario. If you got thin pieces of wood and you're trying to join them together, you can make that joint so much stronger using that. I've got a playlist out there called BS Joinery and Thin Wood Joints, I think. BS Joinery, look for that in the playlist title. Go to that list, and there's about four and a half, five hours of videos talking all about doing this thin wood joinery, the BSJ, how to make the J, how to use the J. Very informative. Once you go through all of that, you'll be able to do all of these things. And how what I talk about here today will make a lot of sense to you then about how you can use this jig for that joint. So, uh, I think this was worthwhile. I want to thank uh, Putin for giving me this question. And I'm more than happy to pass this on to all you guys about how to use it and how you can set up your fence so that you can do a rabbit joint also. And in this particular case, it'll be completely out of sight so you won't even know that it's done unless you look at the bottom of that. So... Uh, I thought that was interesting. If you have any thoughts about this, any ideas, or maybe you ask questions about another joint. Now, first, I'm still working on my concept about how to use it best, this joinery, with a mitre joint. And I've still got mixed feelings about it, so that's why I haven't done any video on mitre joints. But I believe you can do this with mitre joints as well without any problem. Uh, also, I still wanted to show you my dry BS joint which is a removable joint so that you can put it together and take it back apart with one of these bamboo joints. Uh, and I'm still working on that, so I haven't forgot about any of this. So if you're interested in any of those, leave me a note in the comment. Let me know you're interested, and that'll help give me the motivation to finish showing you what I have learned about these two types of joints that we haven't even, that we haven't really got into very much yet together. So... Uh, if you don't know about the BS jig, go to the playlist. It's well worth your while to spend time. If you have a workshop, this is a great little tool to have in your workshop if you work with small boxes of any kind. It really will help you get those smaller, thin pieces of wood to be able to join together and be strong enough so it won't come apart on you. So, <clears throat> leave your comments, leave your thoughts. If you have any questions... Leave them down below. I try to answer all questions, even BS questions. So um, if you learned something here, you like this video, hit that like button. It lets me know I'm doing something right. Most importantly, though, please come back again because, quite honestly, I'm nowhere near done. Mm, thanks. And there's still a lot of BS to come. So you stay tuned. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye.